Today we're making a two layer flower bow using the Bow Genius Bow Maker. Your Bow Genius Bow Maker should be set up in this configuration. We will also be using the smaller cones as well, um, doing the smaller inside flower here. You'll be needing upholstery weight thread. Once again, the pre-tied knot, the loop at the, the end, an extra needle, a pair of scissors, a clip, as well as a glue gun. For the larger flower, you'll be needing 96 inches of 3 8 inch ribbon, which I have here in the salmon color. And then for the smaller flower, we'll be using about 52 inches of 3 8 inch ribbon here. And then for this um, nose, what we've done is used a 24 inch um, length of 3 8 inch um, white here as well. So what we're going to begin with is doing the larger flower. And we're going to take an end and we're going to puncture using the very tip of the ribbon and it doesn't really matter where you start as long as you continue the rotation in one direction and you continue with the figure eight um, and how you're going to puncture the ribbon so once again the top side is on the bottom I'm puncturing the first loop here I'm going diagonally across going consistently in the same direction to make this consistent looking flower bow. Then I'm going to move it over again, going over each individual prong, okay, but making sure that I'm moving everything in the same direction and puncturing my ribbon, leaving the bottom side up. And we're going to do this all the way till all the prongs are filled. So the great thing about the Bow Genius is with the needle center, it really holds your ribbon in place. So there's no shifting, especially on, on an intricate flower such as this. Because the slightest shift would change the shape of the flower. All the way around. all my petals or my ribbon petals the same length. Same direction, doing my last prong. And here we are. I'm going to cut a little bit of excess off here. The bottom flower is about five and a half inches. So the 96 inches of ribbon makes about a five and a half inch flower. Okay, we're going to take our pre-tied looped knot, the upholstery weight thread in through the needle, as you see here, leaving about five inches. I'm going to go underneath everything, all my loops, get a firm grasp, I'm going to pull straight up, take the excess all the way out. And here is my center. Once again, we have the stitch, the first stitch in place. It's holding everything together. That's the great thing about the Bow Genius. I'm going to hold it here, set that aside. Take my extra needle, feed the other end through. And I could finish. sewing a top stitch to make sure that I've blocked all my loops under. Okay, and then I'm going to do a lock stitch at the bottom. Cut the 
excess off. And there is my bottom layer for my bow. I'm going to set this aside. And the smaller set of combs to do the smaller bow, you would do the same exact thing as we did with the large. This would snap in place. And you would puncture the end and do the same figure eight, exactly what you've done. larger one. So in essence the same time I've already done it here. This is what it comes out to be after you've done it. It's actually about 52 inches of ribbon at this point to make the smaller one. So I have my top flower, my bottom flower, and now we're going to make the nose. It's a 24 inch length of ribbon. Okay, what I like to do is fold it in half. And this is 3 8 inch, and you can certainly use whatever color. I'm just using white to show the contrast for the bow. And what I'm doing is I'm just folding and twisting over top until I get this coiled nose. I'm using 24 inches of ribbon because I do want a sizable center nose for my flower bow. Tight. To finish, a little dot of glue. all the way through. Just hold for a second. You see I have my nose. We have the center of the smaller flower. I'm going to put a dot of glue here. Put my center nose in place. Hold it for a second the small. Have the center nose here as well. I'm going to put a dot of glue here. Put my smaller one over top. And here you have it, a two-tone color flower bow.